lots of guests for you tonight. Lots of guests on old Jennifer. Like, for instance, we've got Corey and Pete from the band Warrior Soul. Hi. Welcome Hello. to the ball. Now, you guys have got an album out right now called Last Decade Dead Century. Yeah. And how's it doing? It's doing good. Mm -hmm. It's doing good. U.S. and Europe is doing real good. We, uh, we did a tour with Metallica and it went real well. And uh, we got a lot of response from the press in England and from doing shows over there. It was real exciting. What's it like playing with Metallica? I understand that uh, they're a real hard crowd to play for, and I know that in England, I guess they go pretty nuts in the crowds, right? The audience was pretty receptive to us, you know? I think yeah. we, got a, we got a certain attitude uh, that goes over pretty well with that kind of crowd, you know? A little attitude. Yeah. But, you know, you just... If you go in and you, you do... You're playing pure, and you what you're doing is not fake, you know? If you're not hiding behind hairspray and makeup or if that's not really what you're about those kids will they'll rip you up but if you come out and you're true mm -hmm. they'll they'll respect that what is warrior soul about truth freedom of expression uh, freedom in society to say and do whatever you want to do mm -hmm. now i know a lot of people are getting uh in a little bit of trouble from some of their freedom that they're expressing in music have you guys had any problems yet? Like with kind of the stickering laws that's been going on and all that kind of stuff? We set it up so that we we knew we were going to say a lot of political, more controversial things and express life on the rock subculture. So we, on purpose, just, we didn't bother putting in uh, any, like, offensive language, mm -hmm. you know, whatever that is, four-letter words and right. that kind of stuff. We, we don't sing about sex, you know, we're not interested in singing about sex, so... They've left us alone so far, but um, give it time. <laughs> yeah, well, the ideas, the ideas that we're expressing are, you know, pretty intense, and I'm sure that once they figure out what we're doing, they'll probably try to do something. But there's nothing they can do, and I'm going to keep it that way. And sorry, PMRC, you know, <laughs> you can't do nothing to me. Okay. Also, uh, Warrior, just so you know, Warrior and so Warrior Song and Love Hate are the uh, Headbangers Ball featured artists, which are playing this year at the New Music Seminar which is going on right now in New York. Right now we're going to take a look at the uh, latest video from these guys, Warriors Soul. This is called The Losers. Back here on the Headbangers Ball, we've got Corey and Pete from the band Warrior Soul. Now, not too long ago, we took a look at the video, The Loser. Yeah. And you want to tell us a little bit about that? It's, uh, it's an important song, I think, because uh, being on the rock subculture, you know this yourself, working in L.A., I mean, we are on our own subculture, our own subsect of a society, a general society in our nation. And I think that we need anthems to get us through uh, the badgering and the labeling that's put on us by other sectors of our society uh, who are very judgmental to us. Now, you look at uh, Cardinal John O'Connor, and he comes out and he says, listen, Rock and roll isn't good, and it's bad. It's the work of the man with the little horns down mm -hmm. there. And we don't want it to go on anymore. Well, why can't we go out, and why don't we go out into his church on Sunday and go, hey, you know, we think what you're, uh, what you're saying to people is a lot of crap, and we don't agree with it, so we don't think you should do it. Yeah, it seems like you know what? But, you know, we don't do that because we don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, we are better than that. And uh, I wrote this song for all the people that get pushed down, you know, and get shoved down into the dirt for no reason. Have you also noticed that right now it seems like a lot of these problems, as far as the stickering, the ballot, um, problems like Cardinal O'Connor making all his public statements, it seems like right now it's at an all-time really, it's getting really, it's, really bad. I think it goes through cycles. I mean, me and Pete were talking about the other day. It was like, it just, you always get this cycle happening in the 50s, happening in the 60s. Whenever they start to feel... It always seems after a conservative administration has been in for a while, just suddenly all these people started going, hey man, we're conservatives, we're rocking, we got the power now, let's get down on these folks, you know, it's like, I, I think we're just going to have to fight it off again, it's like, they never win. It, yeah, it just, always seemed to me that as far as Cardinal O'Connor goes, that it was just kind of a way for him to keep himself in the press. Absolutely. You know, always making oh, some absolutely. great statements. And stuff absolutely. Like that. There's no doubt about it. There's no reason to say that. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to talk to these guys. Um, we'll be back with uh, Warrior Soul a little bit. Right now, we've got a new regular feature on the show. It's called the Headbangers Ball Buster of the Week. And what we do is we play two videos, and you guys pick the winner. You want to know how you pick the winner? By calling this number. It's 1-900-370-0100. That's 900-370-0010. See right there. 
Each call costs you about 50 cents. It costs you 50 cents. And uh, you're going to tell us which band deserves to win. This week, it's Death Angels, Seemingly Endless Time, and Bruce Dickinson's Tattooed Millionaire. Let's see them fight it out, and you guys pick the winner by calling that number. Here is... Bruce <laughs> Once again, we're here with Warrior Soul. Album's called Last Decade, Dead Century. Go out and buy it. Now, you guys are, uh, first of all, um, Pete, what did you do to your hand? I just got into a car accident, yeah. And you're the, you're the bass player. I'm the bass player, right. So I'm having a bit of a, uh, you know, some difficulty here, but. He's going to be playing the basics in our show. Yeah, absolutely. Tonight. Sticking to the root notes and keeping things simple. Talk about that. Now, so the other guys don't feel bad. Why don't you tell us who the members of the, uh, band are the other guys Glenn. yeah we got uh, John Rico on guitar uh, and Mark Evans on drums and uh, both mm. uh, both guys yeah absolutely they mm. do rule mm -hmm. they're they're great players and great guys to be with yeah now Corey you started out as a drummer first right I was a drummer yeah I was trained for six years privately I was I am a drummer uh -huh. but uh, I just couldn't be put kept back there any longer I had to get out and you felt like you just wanted to be the singer? And I, well, I went into performance art for a couple of years. I just left rock and roll because I thought it was inane. And then came back when I thought, wow, this could be interesting if I gave it a twist where I'm, I don't want to sing about male-female relationships. I think it's done, been done, I'm out of there. You know? Are you guys writing what's on your mind and, and how you view things? or Where do you get all your inspiration? Absolutely, yeah. But um, mainly things that we think about. Society. New York Times, yeah. hmm. you know, McNeil Air. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's going on on the planet? Now, you guys are uh, playing on the road now? We're headed out um, on August 15th. We're going to go with Soundgarden and good show. Uh, dancing. Oh, great that show. That should yeah. be a good show with uh -huh. me and Phil on the bill. I think it should be pretty good. That'll be a good show. Yeah. yeah. We'll definitely uh, check them out. And, and tonight. And tonight. tonight. Tell, right. tell us where you're playing tonight so we know to all go see you guys. Okay. Tonight we're playing at the Marquee Club in Manhattan. I'm sure you can all get there, especially on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be playing there with uh, Love Hates opening for us, and they're great. And I think you'll like Warrior Soul, so mm -hmm. get your boots down there. Don't forget to uh, check them out live when you're in and check out their album, Last Decade, Dead Century. I want to thank you guys a real hey, lot. Thanks for a lot, man. I had a lot of fun. And I hope yeah. your hand feels better. It will, yeah. And uh, in about five minutes, we're going to be having a Vixen world premiere, and you'll also see the world premiere of Flight of the Angels from this band next hour, this band being Slaughter. This is number four in the Headbangers Ball Busters. This is uh, up all night. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>